Today is Monday, the 16th of December, and I've just returned from Madrid after attending the 25th Conference of Parties of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. It was supposed to end on Friday, the 13th. It went on to the middle of Sunday, uh, the 15th, yesterday, and it didn't end with a full result, only a partial result. Uh, that shows that the system of the annual Conference of Parties and the way they are run is completely busted. Uh, the fact that they overrun almost routinely into extra time means that the most vulnerable developing country delegates are not able to stay till the end. They have to leave at the end of the official period. And so whatever decision is made at the end is done in their absence and most of their red lines get disappeared in the final text and that's exactly what happened in Madrid. So a word of advice to the incoming COP presidency of the UK for COP26, please make sure that you end on time on Friday, the last second Friday of the two weeks. Make that a hard deadline. Anything unfinished should go to the next COP, COP27. And if they have to pull all-nighters for two nights, let them do it before Friday on Thursday and Wednesday and not after Friday on Saturday and Sunday because that's deeply unfair. With regard to the results, we failed to get a result on Article 6 on the market mechanisms because some countries had totally blocked any kind of decision making in favor of uh, keeping the temperature to one and a half degrees, uh, almost impossible as that might sound now. One very minor uh, victory on issue that we had been fighting for for some time as vulnerable countries was the loss and damage review of the Warsaw International Mechanism. We had been fighting for both an implementation wing and a finance wing for this uh, WIM mechanism. Uh, we got some of it, but not all of it. Uh, we will continue to fight for it. But I think the overall review of the COPs after 25 years, and I have been to every single one of them over those 25 years, is they're no longer fit for purpose. The argument into the late hours of the night over trivialities is simply not commensurate with the magnitude of the problem that we are already facing in terms of impacts of climate change. And this year, 2019, is a tipping point year in which we are actually seeing attributable impacts of climate change because of the temperature rise by human beings by over a degree centigrade. And that's going to get even worse with time. And the COP and the UNFCC has totally failed to tackle that problem in the past. They are showing that they are even less able to tackle it now. Not quite sure what's going to happen next, but uh, I am deeply disappointed with the process.